Okay, good morning, everybody. We're gonna get this call started in about one minute. What's happening? Hey, what's happening, Mr. Rob Griffin? Good morning, sir. We're back happy in Texas now. The trip in Vegas was amazing. Amazing time. Uh, that's good to hear. I can't, I can't wait to uh, see your um, VRLU experience, sir. I've, um, I've clicked on the vi uh, video link like 10 times, hoping that I have a special access to like a premiere that starts in a few days or something. Oh, uh, I'll send you a private text. How about that? <laughs> uh, wow. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Mr. Mike Glan, how you feeling, sir? Give us some um, update. Um, how's uh, how you beating um, COVID? COVID got nothing on you. Yeah, kicking COVID's butt right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, only only um. Uh, when he makes uh, uh, her story even that much greater and um, you're a true champion. Thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you, sir. Oh my gosh, good morning from Maui. What time is it over there? Like 5 a.m. over there? <laughs> um, uh, Jeremiah Charles, um, Washington, D.C. We got many of you joining from um, Maui. Let's see here. Let's see, Newport Beach, oh, Mickey, I love Newport Beach. I, um, I got to spend, uh, my mentor um, lived in Newport Beach, so I used to stay with them like Monday through Wednesday um, back in maybe 2006 to, I don't know, maybe three, four years. I got to spend a couple of days over there every week or every week. And um, you, you know what I love is, like 6 a.m. when you walk outside, um, you know, that, that um, I don't know, that feeling, um, just, just amazing, it's just beautiful. All right, Georgia, wow, good morning. Brent, how you doing? Um, Norman from Maui, good morning. New Jersey. New Jersey, wow, good morning, good morning. DC, good morning, Southern California, good morning. Jeff, hello from Vegas. Good morning. Good morning, Delaware. Wow. Good morning, Nashville. Good morning. Good morning, um, Fort Worth. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Prince George County, Maryland. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning, Portland, Oregon. Wow. Good morning, Houston. Good morning, Michigan. Good morning, Arizona. Good morning. Wow, we got. Like Miami, South Beach, good morning. Rio Grande Valley, good morning. <laughs> Emmett, California, good morning. Wow, we got people from everywhere. Oh, man. Good morning, good morning. Man, where's next? Like Mars, wow, good morning. Oh, oh the moon, oh, wow, good morning. I'm just kidding. All right, good morning, everybody. <laughs> we'll get started right away. Colorado in the house, oh, wow. Another person from Maui, good morning. Dallas, good morning. Good morning is there any way you can contact me afterwards or as soon as you can i have a question i need your help with yes yeah, so send me a message if you don't mind um that'd be good send me a message um instagram instagram um direct message is probably the quickest so yes feel free to uh message me anytime um, just so you know that um, I, I haven't posted anything on official Danny Bay Facebook page for four years. Uh, I just figured out how to re-engage with my Instagram yesterday. So, um, so I'll be posting a lot more stuff on um, my Facebook, official Facebook channel, as well as the um, YouTube channel. You could, uh, I wish I haven't posted anything for years, but starting next week, you could start to see some um, updates on YouTube channel. And with our marketing team, we 
had a tremendous time yesterday going over some of the social media strategy. And, and I want to encourage you guys to do the same, you know, and, and this morning I want to talk about two things briefly and we'll open up for questions. Um, you know, one thing is, you know, what is, what is 2020? You know, it's not even just 21st century, right? It's a, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, what is 2020 marketing? What do you guys think it is? You know, I know we're doing social marketing, we're doing network marketing, um, and I can't wait to start GPS Commerce in America. I'm telling you, um, you build a strong foundation. It's all going to be depend on, I, I know many of you want to become influencer, 10K, 50K, 100K, 200K. I'm telling you with GPS Opportunity, it's going to be all based on how strong of a foundation you build. Building a strong foundation with GPS Opportunity, with offering VR device and VR content alone. I'm telling you, um, starting your opportunity, creating your infrastructure, creating your foundation, building your leadership with simple two products for you to focus and duplicate and grow the strength of your leadership. Um, it's the best way for you to start. I'm, I'm telling you, if, if, if you had um, 50 different products to offer right now, um, it, would, um, it, would, it wouldn't make your initial um, um, leadership as strong as what you're building right now. So, um, you know, but in, in understanding 2020 marketing, you know, if you could put it in one term, you know, I, I had a great meeting with our marketing department yesterday. What do, you th what do you guys think it is? I actually want to, would love to either hear or um, read your uh, um, response. Um, 2020 marketing. What do you think is the most effective way to market? What do you think is the most effective way um, to promote and market in the marketplace um, in 2020? What do you guys think it is? What do you think is the most um, word, word of mouth, uh, word of mouth, on video, I agree. CNN, <laughs> Christopher, <laughs> content, influencer, word of mouth, um, internet. Uh, um, yes, my Instagram is just go Instagram, you know, web page or app, and just search me, Danny Bay Asia. You'll find me. Um, show people clips of what it's like to have a device. Yes, well, that's true. Online marketing, face-to-face, -face, social media, Facebook, demonstrate Pico. Um, word of mouth, always use text, one-on-one. Uh, one -on -one. All those things are true. You know, all those things are very effective. And, and today what I want to, um, you know, really relate the message of when it comes down to marketing. Me and Mr. Mike Lan, as we spend a lot of time, you know, in Korea, almost every day, we have to spend some time in Korea at the office, we talked a lot about this. And actually, it's funny, I know somebody was just laughing when they put CNN. Um, but, you know, it kind of explains to you, um, experience for purchase, yes, that's, that's, that's true. All these, all the things that you guys have mentioned on, you know, on the comment box, it's true. Those are great ways to market. You know, share a video, or maybe do a one-on-one -on -one presentation, um, 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 you know, get, get, get them to experience the product or, um, you know, or, or share stuff on social media. Um, all those things are effective. But 2020 marketing, you know, I believe like nine, um, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, marketing was showing more documentation. You know, I think back in the days, I remember when I was just growing up in sales and leadership and, and um, and, and, and first learning about marketing and sales. I remember the saying that was um, very popular to use 15, 20 years ago, and it was documentation beats conversation. Documentation beats conversation. Um, any of day of the week. Now, that, that was used a lot, you know, many, many years ago. Um, 2020, people don't talk about that as much. In 2020, marketing, and, and, and I, you know, the reason we do these good morning GPS calls and the reason why I do a lot of the leadership calls is because I love to do coaching sessions with many people because I want to encourage you and I want to help you and I want to 
uh, uh, share ideas with you to help you become a professional marketer. And if you could become a professional entrepreneur, if you could become a professional um, sales expert, if you could become a professional marketer, if you could become a professional leader, um, you could be very successful, not just in GPS, but in many areas of your lives. And, and I'm talking about marketing, because if you can master marketing and understand marketing, you would definitely get more customers, you definitely get more people in your team. So let me share with you in one, um, 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 one word on what I believe the most important thing to do in 2020 marketing is. You guys ready? Um, here it is. Bombarded, okay? <laughs> um, like being bombarded. Um, what does that mean? Massive exposures. Um, you know, somebody was joking earlier in the comment box saying, what is the best way to market CNN? I got to kind of agree. Okay. Now, now, Hey, we're not here to be political. Um, <laughs> but here's what we could talk about. Some things they talk about may be true. Some things they talk about, maybe not true yet. Maybe some things they talk about, maybe not true, but here's what we know. Regardless of if it's about anything, regardless of what the topic may be, guess what people believe, guess what people believe more of? Guess what people believe most of in year 2020? What, what they're bombarded with, what they see the most. You know, if it doesn't even matter if there was any documentation of it being true. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Like back in the days, people used to look for documentation. That's why now everybody needs to watch VRLU, um, lying detecting um, a master um, um, academy course done by Mr. Robert Griffin, which by the way, I know some of you saw the uh, um, um, YouTube premiere advertising link, which you definitely want to save. And I'm sure we've got to bombard you and remind you with However, um, you want to say because, you know, Mr. Robert Griffin, if you, have, even, even if you don't know, you know, he used to be an uh, undercover detective until we told about 10,000 people that he was undercover detective and retired. <laughs> but, you know, he dealt with people that um, were the, were, you know, some of the highest um, level of um, um, criminals in, in Las Vegas, which is, you know, one of the tougher cities. And, and, um, you know, he, he knew how to um, work with them and he knew how to um, um, deal with them and, you know, and, 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 and he, you know, and, and, and get in the crowd and, and, and do what he did. And, and um, you know, now, you know, prior to joining GPS, he, um, he, he spent a tremendous amount of time as I believe I'm one of the executives, if not, I think maybe vice president, executive of a, a VR, a company that focused on, on teaching military police force um, on, 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 you know, protocols and the process and, you know, what do you do in these situations and, and, and creating a lot of the VR experiences around it. And he used to teach that um, offline in person with, you know, the um, department and, and, and many of the um, um, officers and, and he's taught that also on VR, but now he's taking that um, to and make it available to the masses. You know, for many of us, we wouldn't know really what to do in a lot of those situations. And anyway, so I'm really excited about his content, but, um, but I could tell you, um, I have a feeling he's, he's maybe the number one or top three um, most amount of views played on VRLU as, we, as, as people get to, um, you know, watch a lot of the Master Academy courses. So I'm really excited about that, but, um, you know, Back in the days, they used to look for documentation and facts. Um, but I believe 2020, you know, we're in such a fast society and, you know, and truth of the matter is, uh, majority of the stuff that we see on the internet are not even true. Um, majority of the people's comments, um, you know, um, on, 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 on Facebook or Instagram or on social media are just people's opinions without doing any research on a lot of the stuff. Right. But, you know, people believe it, you know, and they hear it so much um, because back in the days, unless you physically saw somebody, you weren't exposed to it. Back in the day, unless you turned on the TV or under, turned on the radio, um, you weren't exposed to it. But now today, 24 seven, you're being bombarded, um, not by one or two opinions, not by one or two documented facts. But nowadays we are uh, uh, being bombarded by hundreds of people's voices, thousands of people's voices. And so 2020 marketing, let me ask you something. 
How many of you want more positivity in your life? Anybody? Okay, how many of you want more um, success in your life? Anybody? Of course, all of us, right? You know, it's kind of weird, you know, many of you that are sitting by yourself, you don't raise your hand, but like I see like Rob and Chica, like anybody that's sitting as a couple or people, like they all raise hands. <laughs> but, <laughs> or any of you that used to work with me, I like asking these questions. They're like, oh, you know, you raise your hand with me, so thank you. So, you know, my point is in 2020, in marketing, most effective way to market um, is to have massive exposures. Um, you know, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be doing a lot more on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube starting next week. We're putting a full strategy together this week, and I'm going to be working heavily on, you know, exposing and, and bombarding a lot of our contents, a lot of my contents, a lot of our company contents. And I want to encourage you to do the same. And, and there are three types of content, right? Content you create content you've done in the past that you can maybe reorganize and share. And number three are other people's content. You know, and, and you can maybe research. I love what Mr. Steve Hunt does. Anytime he finds anything interesting, article or video on, on social media or on the internet, um, or on the news about VR, about AR, about the future of technology, and maybe some of the new technologies being announced of what's coming in 2021, what's coming in 2022, 2026. He's just sharing those, but it educates his audience. He, it bombards his audience and it's massive exposures to his audience. And, if, um, and, 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 and more uh, marketing you could push out, uh, more presentations you could push out, Somebody said, you know, what is the most way, effective way to present? Well, you know, more presentations you do. And we talked about it yesterday. One explanation of momentum is speed and exposure. Speed and exposure. The reason exposure comes with speed is because one exposure is never going to get you the results you want. It's massive amount of exposure. It's just being bombarded. It's pushing out so much marketing out there of marketing yourself, marketing your opportunity, marketing your product, marketing your strategy, marketing your approach. Um, it has to be um, out there so much. So I want to encourage every single one of you um, to become a professional marketer. Become a professional entrepreneur. Becoming a professional leader entrepreneur in 2020 you got to go out there and bombard the marketplace. You got to go out there and take um, your content and push it out to the world. Not once a day, not once a week, um, multiple times a day, all day long. And more you do it, I'm telling you, more credible you become. More you do it, more powerful you become. More you do it, more effective you become. That's 2020 marketing. You know, so, so said all that. I promise that we're going to be opening up for a lot more question and answer time this morning um, than we did yesterday. So, oh man, Mr. Steve, go on, you're driving, drive safe, man. You driving? Somebody else driving. <laughs> Hello, oh, Talia, how you doing? Hey, Jenny. <laughs> man, I can't wait for things to open back up because I want to just travel and see everybody's faces and be able to eat with everybody hang out and um yesterday was my first restaurant um vegas restaurant experience um <laughs> in a long time um so it was great but um all right anybody got any questions regarding you know, business building marketing leadership about vr or anything fire me Mr. Away. Bay, I have a question. yes sir uh thank you appreciate the call my my name is christopher shot i'm here in miami florida i have just a quick question i've been to ask you since yesterday I'm in a new marketplace here. I just moved here a few months ago. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. So my question to you is, starting in a new marketplace with zero influence, not from the chairman, CEO, founder standpoint, but just if you had to restart everything today, that you had no influence whatsoever, what would you focus on every day? If you had no prior experience, no prior influence or network, where would you focus your attention every day, starting from scratch? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, first of all, congratulations on your move. And, Thank um, you. and that's exciting. And, you know, I, um, I'll tell you this. If somebody asks me, Danny, what's your, what are you absolutely expert in in our business? I'll tell you, it's going into a new market that I literally don't know a single person in. And starting a team 
And in 30 to 90 days, get the team ready where there's over 100 people coming together for trainings and presentation events. That's what I'm actually, um, actually, you know, when we, when we start promoting many um, leaders, um, we, we're going to start doing a lot of um, advanced leadership trainings. And, you know, I do a full leadership academy um, where we spend almost like um, 10 to 15 hours of intense training workshop in a two or three day time period. And, you know, in that training, Christopher, I could, I, I could share with you, I, I always start off the training by telling people two things. Number one, my goal isn't to put million dollars in your pocket. My goal is to put, make a millionaire here and here because you can make it back every time. Um, and number two is always sharing with people, becoming a professional um, entrepreneur in this industry, becoming a professional um, direct sales or network marketing expert. Um, it simply means you could be dropped off in anywhere in the world, any city, any country, doesn't even matter if you speak the language or not, doesn't even matter if you know anybody in the marketplace or not, and be able to build a team of 100 people getting together in 30 to 90 days. To me, that's a sign of someone that understands how to build this business. So I'm really glad that you asked that question, Christopher, because you know, I'm, I think it's a great experience for you um, to uh, build in a market you know, with a brand new opportunity with GPS, getting part of it from the very beginning, very first month, and you mastering how to build in that marketplace right now, this one, um, you know, is gonna give you a tremendous opportunity for you to go out there and expand everywhere. So, you know, it's, it's gonna be really great experience for you. So let me talk about your current market. You said you moved to Miami, right? Um, yes, I'm in Miami, Florida. Um, my network's from Baltimore, Maryland. That's where I'm born and raised, but I'm here in South Florida. So perfect. So let's talk about Miami first and we'll talk about, you know, Maryland and talk about everywhere else. Miami, here's the key, you know, building a new team in a new marketplace, new territory. Here's the key. Just remember that every single one of your current friends, every person, every network you have today, every war market you have today, here's the first thing we got to remember. Every war market we have today, they were a stranger before they were a friend. Right, which means that every, um, every, you know, it doesn't matter if you're in a new market. Yeah, maybe everybody's cold right now. Maybe you don't have a single network there yet. Maybe you don't have a single friend there yet, but they could all be your friends. They could all be part of your network. You know, give you an example. Like I started traveling to Korea 10 years ago. I left Korea when I was 14, so I was a kid. I didn't have any business network. I didn't really, um, you know, so, and I was, I've been here for so many years. By the time I lost Korea, I didn't really know anybody in Korea, right? Um, but I can tell you that in short couple of years of time, I built enough network um, to, of friends, build a network of friends and um, relationship that helped me to um, generate over $600 million in business in Korea. Um, you know, and, and how did all that happen? Well, because um, you, I love to network. You know, just take a look at um, the industry, um, what the industry is called, network marketing. So here, here's what I like to master. I, I'm a pretty simple guy, Christopher. Here's what I like to master, building network and marketing. <laughs> if you can build a network and if you can market, through that network, um, then you have a successful network marketing opportunity, right? So, um, so I, I just make friends. I mean, I could tell you, you know, I mean, it's a sad news. One of my best friends in the world, which, you know, I've gotten to know and become friends with last nine years, almost 10 years, um, he passed away last week, you know? So, um, you know, I, um, it was, I, I thank God I changed my flight four times, you know, before leaving Korea because, you know, of our, 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 um, you know, different meetings that popped up. So I, um, and, and, you know, five days before he passed, I, I wasn't expecting him. I know he was, he was fighting cancer, but we really were hoping that he, he would, um, he would survive. And him and I were communicating like a week before, um, him sharing that, Hey dude, I'll be out, you know, we're going to travel the world together and we, you know, we're going to enjoy life together. So, um, but you know, thank God I, you know, I guess God knew that, you know, that was going to happen. So he, you know, allow me to have my flight, you know, changed again for the fourth time a day after, um, you know, um, a day after he passed. So I got to visit the facility and see his family, but, um, you know, so, but even him, right? So, you know, him was through a, a con, you know, just meeting somebody, that person introduced me to somebody, that introduced me to somebody, and we met and we became friends. Um, and, you know, and, and I just built network that way. You know, I, I, I just, um, 
you know, he didn't really, he wasn't really involved in my previous business, but you know, he's, we they built a network um, that he, he got started, he did sign up, but he, he shared, um, you know, he's introduced so many people, you know, a lot of his network um, that ended up being some of my closest friends today, um, you know, came through that relationship. So I think, you know, every relationship is so valuable. Um, you know, I, I, every network is so, and I, I, and here's the key, I kind of talked about it yesterday. If it's for them, you know, if, if you're calculating, I, that's what I don't do. You know, the reason I, I build network, um, you know, I have a lot of friends in Vegas. I have a lot of friends in a lot of cities. I have a lot of friends in Japan. I have a lot of friends in Korea um, and in, in, in the business with me and people that are not in the business with me. And because Christopher, I, I, I do not calculate my relationship with people. I do not calculate my network with people. Um, I don't use people. I don't use people. You know, now I think that what I do would benefit many people that I will meet and everybody I know. You know, so I share. I share with the pure intention of it providing solution for them. You know, and I share um, um, uh, because I really believe that it's good for them. You know, not for me. You know, it's not a calculated um, um, thing for me to um, benefit from them or, you know, get something out of them. Does that make sense? So, you know, I think building a network and building, um, you know, making friends and cherishing, you know, building and cherishing relationships um, when your intentions are pure, um, you know, and, and, and let, let's just say you're, let's just say you're not involved in GPS. Hey, you moved to Miami. You want a lot of friends there anyways. You want to have a good network of people in Miami that you could help, that they could help you and and right, that's important to you, right? Outside of the business. So I will do that. I will do that. But because this is what you're doing and because this is what you do and this is what you believe in, share with them. And, 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 and when you have a pure relationship with people, here's the way I look at it. Either they're going to be involved or they're going to mentally or emotionally support you or they're going to introduce you to somebody. Um, they're going to introduce you to somebody that's going to be valuable. I'll tell you, you know, even... Um, um, you know, through my friend that passed last week, which him and I had such a great relationship. I, um, you know, I didn't mean to keep bringing him in, but you know, it just it shows the, how powerful relationships and, and network is and, and how true, truly um, amazing it is. Um, you know, I, um, the VR Lu um, Korea executive that runs all our production and casting and everything, um, um, I met her husband um, through this friend that passed last week, um, her, he introduced me to her husband nine years ago. Um, that's how I met um, her husband, and that's how I met her eight years ago. And we have built um, relationship and friendship and trust, um, you know, past few years where now she's running um, 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 Vera Lu, um, you know, um, in, in Korea, which is it's incredible. I, um, one of the 25 Ks, um, <laughs> um, you know, he... Um, this friend, um, when we became friends, he, he wasn't even interested in the business, but, you know, he just wanted to help me. And you know what he did? He texted almost 100 of his friends. Does my previous company's name and me, that's it. He just texted my name <laughs> and the previous company, and that's all he did to other people. And one of the person that got that text um, and that responded to him, um, is a person who's been working with me for many years and who's one of the 25 influencer 25 Ks um, in Korea. Um, so, you know, and, um, and even before, literally a couple days before he passed, man, in his dying bed, um, you know, fighting and, and, and hurting, all he was, not for financial gain, all he was trying to do was help me as a friend. You know, he was making contacts to people, um, you know, um, about future VR devices. He was trying to share different business contexts and, and, and it was not he had zero calculation on his part, um, you know, and, 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 and it's mutual, right? So, um, you know, I believe that people treat you the way um, you treat others. And I believe that um, you sh that's why you should treat other people the way you want to be treated, right? So, um, you know, to me, building network marketing, building a network, and mastering marketing, um, it comes to just living a good life. You know, it's not uh, it's a ta it's not a tactic in my opinion of go recruit. You know, just uh, um, you know, yes, you could meet, if you don't know anybody, yes, go meet people. 
I know it's harder to meet people now, but go meet people. And you know, you, there are many ways to do it. You could do it on Instagram, you could do it on Facebook. Go hashtag uh, uh, South Beach Miami. I mean, you may see more party scenes than local people there, but you know, um, um, maybe, you know there are many ways to search you know, local um, businesses or local you know, people in the community. So, you know, and from there, when you meet one, you know, be genuine with them and make friends with them and share what you do with them with the genuine um, intention of, yes, you, of course you want to do business with them. Of course you want to share your opportunity with them because you're excited and you believe in it, but not in a calculated way where, you know, if they don't, then, you know, you just drop them. You know what I'm saying? So that's one. Um, let's talk about, and from there, when you get one, the key is to build a relationship and to make their relationship even stronger. Um, you gotta, you gotta get into their network in 24 to 48 hours, you know, and because here's how it is. If I got information, if I just saw it and if I just got exposed to it, it's cool. And, you know, but I'm not as committed, but if I shared it with my brother, if I shared it with my, uh, uh, friends, if I shared it with my cousins and if they're excited about it, now I'm more committed. You know, now I'm more committed to learn. Now I'm more committed to follow through with my commitment, you know what I'm saying? You know, so to support them, you know, to, I, the reason I would get into net, their network and, and build, um, and, and how do you do that? It's a very simple question. Who do you know? Who do you know? It's those are three words, very powerful question. I'll say, hey, obviously we're expanding this opportunity here. This opportunity is brand new, just started. I guess started from the very beginning. And I'm, I think, I think I'm like the only person I, I'm in charge of expansion of Miami here. <laughs> and guess what? If you know about this, you're one of the first two people <laughs> or first five people um, that know about this opportunity in Miami. So, you know, I know that you've been here for a long time. Who do you know? Who do you know that are business minded? You know, who do you know that are entrepreneurs? Who do you know that are pioneers? Who do you know? Um, and, 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 and have these conversations, right? Who do you know that may be interested in being a pioneer in a huge opportunity like this? Who do you know that loves technology? Who do you know that loves to put themselves in front of a, a, a trend or opportunity? Who do you know that has such a good leadership that anything they put their hands on, um, you know, they, they make it successful? Who do you know that has been impacted or affected by COVID-19 right now that may be looking for an opportunity to make money from home, you know, because there may be traditional work or, you know, has stopped or, or, or decreased in size. Who do you know? You know, so having those, kind of, the key sentence to ask always is who do you know? You know, so in, in regardless of if they're interested or not interested, regardless if they get involved or not, anytime you ask the question, who do you know, it gets them to think. And I, you know, just like my friend, um, he wasn't involved, but he introduced me to friends and network that helped us to um, have even a better relationship. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just be master at asking who you know, and the key is to do it within the speed, um, you know, with the fast speed and, and, and it's just, it's just beautiful, man. So that's one. And from there, um, and, and you got to get them enrolled, you know, and, and so now next part is not just for Maryland or Miami for everywhere and especially for your Maryland market. Right now, obviously 90% of our meetings are being done on Zoom. Um, utilize Zoom. So it doesn't matter that you're in Miami, you could still talk to everybody in Maryland. And it doesn't matter if they're in Miami or Maryland, you could actually have a same meeting, one meeting that serves Maryland and Miami. And that's the beauty of this virtual system, right? So, you know, and utilize the system. And one or two people, yes, you could talk to, but you know, really the synergy and the unity and the, uh, the power um, teamwork comes from a lot of people coming together. And and right now, only way to do that is on Zoom. So use the company systems, use the team systems, but also have your own, you know, and start collecting everybody and start pulling them together. And, 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 and you got to build event to event. You're not going to go from one person to 100, but you got to go from one to giving them the responsibility to get a couple people on and you have a call with five people. You know, and getting, giving them the responsibility to a couple more people on, turn that into 10. Giving them the responsibility to get a couple people on, get that into 20. So you got to drive and you want becoming a leader, right? Everybody is new in GPS. Everybody is new. Everybody's starting in the leadership role. It doesn't matter if you're influencer 100 or 10,000. Everybody is our found, everybody right now are founding leaders of GPS. So don't worry about how much you have done so far. Just focus on 
You could turn your one into a hundred by you driving it. Nobody else, you driving it and getting everybody into that and you build from five, 10, 20, 50, 100. Speed and exposure, not slow. It doesn't work slow. I've seen people build in a market for 10 years and never have a hundred people at a meeting. And it's not that they didn't do the activities. They missed the speed. It's the speed and exposure. It's like trying to roll a, a snowball um, in a, a, a speed of uh, um, 0 0.001 miles per an hour. I mean, like, it just wouldn't happen. It's got to pick up the speed. And it's, it's the speed that, you know, creates momentum. It's the speed, you know, that makes that snowball get bigger and bigger. So it's probably longer answer than you wanted it, Christopher. But um, I wanted No, to that was, you me. answered everything. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate you. I think somebody else just said that they had a question. Let me, um, let me go to the chat here. Um, here, hold on. Um, um, Hollywood Access Inc. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Dr. Sellers. Okay. Uh, when will we have available personal GPS links so we can market on internet? Mickey, that's a good question. You know, pers um, we, we, are, we are currently, we do not have the, um, um, we do not have the um, personalized website yet. We're having a lot of discussion. I guess um, it's not a very, um, you know, popular thing and um, 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 thing that um, our um, main IT company is used to doing. So we're looking at some options we'll share with you. As soon as we have some update, we'll let you know. Um, join organizations, local, nationality, na uh, nationally merchandise with GPS logos. Um, subconsciously leaving an imprint. Great point, great point, um, Tess. Um, thank you. Okay, um, Frederick, um, you have a question. Go ahead, what's the question? Yes sir. yes, sir, Mr. Bay, thank you. Um, my name is Fred Arthur from, from New Jersey. And my question is, I have a, a business partner, a fellow influencer, who works for a really large medical facility that wants to do e-learning. And she talked to uh, her supervisors there, and they feel like they really could take advantage of the, um, the, uh, the technology, the Pico2 technology, and then do e-learning. How should she approach getting that done? Is that something that um, they would have to go through VR, VR Lou, or should they just order the technology itself, order the Pico 2, but then how would they go about, you know, really um, providing the, the e-learning? And they're large, they're all over the country, uh, really big uh, company. So um, she's, uh, she wanted me to ask that question. She can't be on the call today. Yeah, um, yeah, that's awesome. That's great. You know, I, I believe that um, I agree with you, uh, Mr. Frederick. I, I believe that many institutions, many um, organizations um, are going to be using VR technology on one, you know, with us or with somebody else. Um, and, um, you know, there are many other, um, many great, um, you know, VR devices out there, right? So we, you know, currently focus on our um, Pico device because we believe it's the most um, easiest um, portable and um, display focus and it's a um, you know so it really depends on what kind of education and system um, they want and, and as I mentioned that in many presentations we'll be offering not just one but many different brands of different um, um, level of um, 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 the hardware um, for something that if they require more um, advanced um, interaction and you know, immersive experience um, um, and in the e-learning, then, you know, we, we, we will be offering um, those devices. Um, our current G2 model is more for display. Um, so it really depends um, what, what they may be. So, I mean, probably the best if they just, um, um, you know, they could direct message me on, 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 on um, you know, on Instagram or, um, or they could even direct message via Louis if it's content related, you know, we could review it, anything to do with device or um, things like that, I could probably answer better. Um, you know, as far as, um, and if it's a target um, e-learning just for, you know, their um, organizations and institutions, then I think, um, you know, maybe VRLU is mainly, you know, Master Academy for, for the masses, right? So, um, you know, I, I, I just have them, have them message me what, and kind of tell me what they're, so I, I could answer better on exactly, um, you know, what will be a good fit for them. And, um, you know, we'll love to help them if we can um, to do things with them for sure. Okay, um, so let's see here. Uh, okay. Um, 
so any source uh, source is available for 3K VR, 360 content for demo purposes. Well, you know, I think um, for demo, you could you could um, once you download. Um, there's a lot of apps. I I think um, you know I think Firefox is a Firefox is a best web browser um, to use on on the Pico device. So I would definitely download that. Um, because you know you could you could go to a website you know YouTube and you know um, um, you know whatever and um, be able to use that so that's good um, and um, also you know obviously um, our presentation um, um, you could download um, online and, and and put it on an SD card oh another thing is for someone to experience VR for the very first time um, a lot of VR free games that you could download on the App Store um, I think that's awesome. Um, but also try downloading um, 3D um, high resolution uh, movies. And if you, you know, like I have on my device, I have Avengers Endgame um, 3D version. I have Lion King, I have uh, Frozen. Um, so it depends on who I'm showing it to. I kind of like to show them the whole movie theater experience um, and um, you know, 3D um, experience, which is awesome to see using the VR device. Um, obviously, if you have access to the internet, you know, um, or also um, if you are have internet, you could actually download a couple of contents on the VR app. And actually, matter of fact, when you download it because you're not streaming anymore, your resolution will be even better. And I would recommend that you pick your favorite VR Loop Master Academy courses and download a couple on the app. So when you're offline, you could still um, share them as a demonstration or you could still watch that um, you know, um, as well to study. So there's so many of them, but you know, I'll definitely do movies, definitely download VR Loop, your favorite contents. Um, and, um, and, and some of the games and Firefox. All right, so I'm known as a speaker, author. How do you suggest balance the mass marketing when you're known for a different industry? That's a great question, Mr. Charles. Um, if you are a known author and speaker, obviously, you know, you gotta, you, you know, maybe you gotta protect that um, to be, a, um, you, know, uh, you know, without interfering that, right? I, I'm a believer that, you know, when you get started GPS, yeah, you don't want to be a secret agent. Um, however, um, you know, you, I, and, and you want to share the opportunity and products with people. However, um, also, I, I believe it's very important that I, I, I encourage people, maybe different people have different philosophies, but I, I believe that whatever your traditional business, whatever your career path you were on prior to joining GPS, I believe becoming part of GPS I believe you should become more successful in whatever you're doing prior to doing GPS and also make GPS opportunity available, you know? So, um, you know, you just use, I mean, I don't know your audience. I don't know your engagement, you know, with your audience. Um, so, you know, I would, I would just do it in a way that would be effective in also supporting and helping your current business. Um, but, you know, maybe giving them an opportunity to, to um, find out, um, you know, what you do. So, all right, so, okay. There are a lot of questions. Let me go through it as fast as I can. Uh, what are your best tools for organizing notes and prospecting people? Do you prefer physical notebooks or digital apps? Amber, I think it really is up to um, um, people. Some people, you know, for me, I'm still old school a little bit. <laughs> so I still write some stuff down on um, schedules and, you know, notes and, you know, new different ideas to share in the meeting and, and even for people to call back. I kind of still like to do it on a paper. So, you know, it really depends what you're um, used to. Probably I'm not the best guy to ask an advice on digital app for that. I personally, just being honest, I've never used it. Um, so if we have someone interested in large order of people G2 but lives on other continent, can we make that happen? Or can only be shipped to USA, Korea? So it's, it could only be shipped from us um, to US, Korea, and Japan. Obviously, product is just like buying a laptop. It's just like buying a smartphone. Um, as long as, you know, there is internet, there is power, they could probably use it anywhere if they bought it in the countries that we're, um, you know, the product itself is certified to sell. I know um, Pico device is certified in USA, Korea, and Japan. Um, so we could sell and we could ship the products and um, it depends on the market. So, but GPS shipping it, GPS selling it, um, yes, it has to be within those three countries. But if individual, um, you know, um, have purchased in the markets that we sell it, wherever they use it, you know, that's probably their choice. Um, how do you answer people that have concerns of whether VR device is harmful for our eyes, eyesight or not? 
you know, there are a lot of research is done, Jerry, you could go online and look at it. You know, there may be people's opinions or um, not understanding the technology, just, you know, making comments um, that it may be harmful, but it's not. You know, there are actually many studies that show how um, VR technology could actually improve your um, um, eyesight and, and um, you know, and, and um, they're very cautious with it, you know. So if you actually look it up, there are a lot of articles, a lot of studies that were actually done um, that shows that it does not hurt your eyesight. Um, and um, it's, um, you know, there are some programs that it may even help you um, because of it. So, all right, Jeremiah, as long as we can play that new Star Wars <laughs> game coming up in October, have you seen that yet? I haven't yet, Jeremiah, but I'll go look at it um, right, at, right after the call. Can you watch Netflix, Hulu, Act on Pico G2? Answer is yes, technically. Um, Netflix and Hulu app hasn't been developed in the Pico store yet. Um, so how you would have to do it is by using the web browser. Or if you are a little familiar, it's not hard to do, but if you know how to do SDK, um, you know, pretty much um, downloading a computer version of the app um, into, onto your device by just connecting the device using a C, C type um, um, cord, um, plugging into a computer and just to um, SDK um, moving the um, app over, which is very simple to do. You could move it. It's not gonna be a virtual reality setting, but it would still be a full on, you know, like a movie theater, um, size like a big screen setting using uh, the Netflix um, app. So I have seen many different contents um, using Netflix, um, um, logging in and using Netflix on my VR device. So, you know, I, that's a great experience. I love watching Netflix on VR. So that's a great question, Eric. Thank you. All right. When will GPS have their own VR headset? Will it be this year? That's a great question. Um, um, we, um, we are, I mean, it's not, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, it's not our own, like it's, um, it's, um, a, you know, it's, uh, what's the best way to explain it? You know, ultimately we want to be able to offer pretty much all, if not most, um, or if not many of devices out in the marketplace, um, all the way down from a couple hundred dollar device, all the way up to a couple thousand dollar device, you know, to give people varieties in the future. Um, just like we have if you walked into a cell phone store you know so now within that us having our own vr um headset um we are actually working on a couple of them um it won't be 100 percent research and development manufactured by us it will be a joint venture it will be a part um, it will be a partnership um of you know um, a couple companies that I'm, I'm talking to right now and we're working with right now that um would be um that would be um you know, that are, that are professional at doing what they do, right? So they, they, they um, that's all they do, you know? So we wanna make sure that, um, you know, I, I, I'm just gonna be honest with you and tell you, if all the research and development manufacturing, um, you know, came from GPS, you should be worried about our device <laughs> because we don't have much experience with that. But I am working with, um, you know, a couple um, mega companies that have a lot of experience, um, you know, making these um, hardwares and softwares and, and um, we are looking at some options. So, you know, would it be this year? Um, slight chance, um, you know, would it, would it be before, you know, next year? Um, for sure, for sure. Um, so there is a good chance, but, um, you know, not yet. Um, it's uh, something that we're still checking out prototypes and we're still working in. Um, so, you know, but we'll, as soon as we have some update, we'll, we'll give it to you. Um, and uh, we'll share some more um, as, as it develops. All right, so um, iPhone is asking a question. How do people who only signed up for the VR the subscription without the headset get billed uh, when they have no access to the content? Well, I mean, people should, well, first of all, people shouldn't be buying VR the subscription if they don't have the device um, because um, you need a device. Now, they could have bought Pico somewhere else. Like, so, you know, for GPS, it's not something that we would know um, if they, you know, already had a GP, um, Pico device, um, I could tell you the majority of our orders are people that actually have purchased the device and buy the subscription together um, or just buy the device and add on the subscription later. Um, you know, that's probably 90, you know, some percentage of our, um, you know, our customer base. So, um, but if somebody bought a VR subscription, if they don't have Pico, they need Pico. So they should definitely get a Pico. Um, um, device. So, and as I mentioned yesterday, currently it's built on people platform, um, but you know, it's going to be open to a lot more um, later. Anything, um, um, I, I don't want to get technical, but there is a thing called Unity platform, which is kind of like Android, but backwards um, where 
Um, it is, um, you know, it's device focused, but it's within the Unity platform, and that's what our VR Luam contents are on. So, um, like Android, you know, uses Unity, and and, and a lot of different um, devices um, use Unity, and and in the future, yes, eventually, you know, our VR Luam content will be available. Um, it doesn't matter what device you have in the future. You know, that could be a couple years down the road. That could be a few years down the road, you know, um, several months down the road. It all depends on how fast the whole industry um, um, develops. It's not just something that we could decide on. It's just something that, you know, the industry has to come together. So my opinion, that's probably two, three years down the road. Um, but, um, you know, as of today, they would need the device that we're marketing or they have to get it at least from somewhere else. Um, are there logos we can use for advertising? Yes, there are. If you go to our website, I believe there is a CI um, section that you could download um, our um, um, brand guide, um, branding guide um, logos. Um, um, but if not, you know, you could email us and, and um, we'll, we'll send you to the right direction. Um, um, I believe the U.S. website has it too. If you can't find it, I believe we have it. But if you can't find it, go check out the Korea website and you can download it. It's um, um, it's uh, um, it's mygps.kr. So mygps.kr. Um, there's a whole section. It says um, CI, and you click on that. You could actually download our logos. All right. Um, what is the best tool to use for influencers to pique the interest of prospects in Japan? You know, there is a three minute opportunity um, um, peaking video um, that's done um, in Japanese. Um, I, I would, um, you know, go to our YouTube channel. Um, in the beginning, we have consolidated one YouTube channel. So just go Google My GPS YouTube um, and you find our um, YouTube channel. And on that channel, you see English video, you see Korean video, you see Japanese video. Um, so share the three minute Japanese video if they want more information. Um, you could share, um, you know, 55 minute virtual convention if they're kind of like, um, like to know all the details and, and know the um, logic, then you could definitely share that. Um, that's going to be awesome um, to share. We have that in Japanese subtitle as well. Um, sorry for your loss. Thank you. Um, two time survivor. That's awesome. Uh, how long? We kind of talked about that earlier. Um, private, you know, um, a personalized website or link to the ID. Um, we're looking at some options. We're looking at, you know, options that we could go with for long term. So we don't have a date yet. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, expect it like to happen in the next few days. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, whose shoes on the shelf? Um, I'm not sure what that means. Sorry. Um, if a person just wants to, uh, glasses, do they have to buy a monthly subscription? No, they do not have to buy a monthly subscription. Um, it's just like buying a phone, you know, without subscription, but they could do it as long as they have, um, they want to play games with it. They, they want, they could, they could just buy the device. It's just a uh, subscription is for people that have interested in, um, you know, um, VR Loom Master Academy experiences for people that maybe also to earn, um, you know, on BV and, and generate, um, you know, um, um, customer base. So, you know, obviously target market. Uh, people that are into personal development would be awesome. Um, so you could build a you know solid um, residual income with subscription, um, but they do not need to. I understand we need to have 100 BV. Um, does signing up new influencer count? In uh, no, you uh, personally. I mean, you could you could it doesn't the 100 BV ID could come from anything, right? It could be. I mean, currently we have two products, right? You know, we have a VR device and we have a VR content. You know, so um, it's, uh, it's your personal um, customer acquisition, um, you know, um, um, requirement, you know, to be an active influencer. So um, it doesn't matter, you know, if it's from um, subscription or it doesn't matter if it's from the device, but it would have to be a personal sales um, that was, um, you know, not through a different um, a recruit or, you know, other influencer. Um, is GPS working on launching Africa anytime soon? Because I have a lot of celebrity friends in Nigeria as well as parts of Africa. Um, you know, Gray, I, you know, we, we do not have a um, launching um, schedule for Africa yet. We, you know, this year, you know, launching um, the United States, Korea, and Japan has been our focus. Um, we will not be expanding to any other country this year. We're going to focus on solidifying leadership and making um, the uh, market um, stable and powerful and, and, and strong foundation for all of you um, to grow your business successfully this year. And we'll be looking into 
um, some expansions, further expansions next year. Um, you know, our, our plans are to expand um, further markets next year. Um, but right now, we're really focused on making our markets, current three markets, very um, strong this year. All right, do you plan in the future to pay us in crypto? Um, when will they add more payment platforms for people to use to sign up? Um, you know, it's um, in the future possibly, um, you know, but it's not something we're looking at today. Um, you know, there are just so many um, restrictions with crypto, um, you know, with um, so many different markets um, like, um, and, um, you know, we just want to, um, we want to offer as many options as possible when it's accepted. Um, and it's, um, you know, um, it doesn't put restrictions on or, 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 or legal risk um, by, you know, having those options, you know. So, you know, we're open-minded to a lot of different options, but in the future, I, I, I believe in the technology of blockchain. I believe in the technology of other um, um, options um, of, of payment. So, um, you know, it could be five years from now, it could be 10 years from now, it could be three years from now, who knows? But, um, you know, but not something that we're gonna be doing or, um, or implementing right now. Uh, oh, red shoes on the shelf behind you, Mr. Bay. Uh, this person. No, it's just, um, you know, it's, um, um, it's Eric Gordon. I mean, it's actually uh, it was a gift from a friend of mine, one of my best friends in Vegas. And, you know, he got it for me and my son, a matching um, Jordans, and a couple of years ago. And, and um, even though I would love to wear it, but, you know, since it was my first matching Jordans, um, you know, with my son, I wanted to just kind of keep it clean and not wear it, so it's just sitting there. But thank you for asking. Hey, do we know when we'll get the breakdown in commission percentage on the product? Um, yeah, it, uh, it, well, I mean, it's whenever we're launching the product, we're gonna announce what the IM percentage commission is gonna be. Um, currently, VR device Pico is 1%. You know, as many of you probably understand, um, these device um, hardware businesses, there isn't much margin. Um, in the um, hardware business, but we're giving 400 BV, which is you know, kind of crazy. We, we as GPS are investing. Um, every person that purchased Vico, we actually lose money as a company. We are investing into building um, the distribution and the market place with you. Um, so, you know, we pay a lot of commission on it. Um, so, you know, but as far as the personal influence or marketing commission is 1%. VR Louis is two percent. As we start the commerce um, products in the next two three months, you're, you're going to see each product you know showing ten percent, five percent, four percent, you know whatever the product may be. Let me go through this really fast. Um, I don't want to keep you guys on the call all morning. Um, so, what type of content would you recommend for a mass marketing strategy? Uh, it, it depends, man. You know, it's just um, you know just um, you know simple, fun, exciting. Um, you know, and be yourself, you know, I mean, if it's being done through your personal page, it's got to be you, it's got to be, you know, it's got to be fun, it's got to be short, it's got to be exciting, it's got to, you know, um, but, you know, make sure that you're having fun with it, you know, and you got to find your niche. Um, I was referring to, uh, okay, um, Dan, yep, senior citizens without um, 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 subscription, you know, if they want classes, I think they're, I think, I, I could tell you that a lot of senior um um, people that have experienced our device, I think they love it, especially the travel content that's within the subscription. Um, but they, the travel contents people actually love. I mean, Mr. Kenji Hoffman, one of our leaders, our main leader in um, Tokyo, his mother-in-law, Thomas' mom, she's over 90 years old. I mean, she got to try the device. I mean, she could not, she wouldn't let it go. She was spending hours, you know, experiencing all these travel contents. So, um, I, you know, I think a lot of people love it. Can members of the same household who have the people device use the same subscription? Um, answer is yes, in the same house um, for now. Um, you know, we'll be putting some restrictions later on. You know, it depends, you know, um, if there's any abuse of it, but as of the, as right now, yes. Um, do we have access to video outside of YouTube? Both Facebook, like, uh, like us, sharing links. Um, uh, well, you know, I mean, you could, you could go Google. I think, you know, there are a lot of our content already. Um, you know, so you could, you could download some and post it. You could, you know, share a link. I think you could have definitely look at some options. Anything you can share on other companies committed to our experience for purchase rollout. Um, Jeffrey, that's a good question. Um, as I mentioned that, you know, we'll be starting our commerce in the next two, three months. And uh, we're very excited about that. Um, you know, first three months, we want to focus on building the foundation 
and having really people understand and study and experience and market and sell and promote um, and, and, and um, use the VR technology and the subscription and build your foundation. You know, you definitely want to have a lot of products in commerce, but you don't want to get caught up in the mix of that in the beginning. And if I were you, if I was anybody on this, um, in this meeting right now, if I was any one of the um, influencers here, I would personally want to have at least 1,000 people in my team. I would personally want to have at least 10,000 people in my team or 1,000 people in my team of influencers that's ready to do commerce marketing with me with UVP Commerce. So, you know, I wouldn't want, if I was you, I wouldn't want any other product in commerce like right now. So, you know, focus next couple of months, keep it simple, build a team. Um, and um, hold on one second. Uh, uh, it's nine o'clock. So, all right, let's, um, let's wrap this thing. I we definitely want to keep these calls to an hour. Um, I know we could probably do it all day, you know, with all the questions and <laughs> everything we want to talk about, you know, um, that's for sure. But, um, Okay, so to wrap it up, let me briefly, briefly go through it. Uh, looking forward to receiving my Pico 2. Uh, yep, this week, um, this week, um, majority of you, um, any of you that have got, um, got started and ordered um, um, during pre-launch and the initial, you know, first um, weeks of launch, you should be receiving it um, this week. So I'm very excited about that. Um, thank you, Mario. Thank you, um, Jeff. As I mentioned this week, most likely now, if you just order the last couple of days, um, it will probably be next few days. As I mentioned, last couple of calls, uh, anytime you get a customer, anytime you get someone enrolled, just share with them. Um, expected delivery time is probably, um, you know, two, three weeks of time, you know, so, um, just share that with them. You know, I say probably with the, um, you know, with the launch of, um, us and Japan, I mean, they're producing it as fast as they can. Um, but, um, you know, it's going to be a little delayed, especially with probably some of you, any of you that know anything about manufacturing and um, China probably know a couple of things they're dealing with, right? A lot of the original parts that come from Europe, um, there was, you know, with the COVID, there was a lot of delays in that, as well as a lot of uh, um, logistic shipment, you know, coming out of China um, have been taking two, three, four times longer than um, you know, any other normal time because of uh, majority of logistic shipping uh, methods um, are being used for PPE as well as um, a lot of the um, options have changed and, and discontinued, you know, so, you know, just uh, it's, it's a very unique time um, we're living in, um, you know, so, you know, please be a little patient with us and, you know, just, just set the expectation from the beginning. Um, if you want to just be safe with your, you know, customers, just tell them, hey, you know, we have a uh, back order and we're um, you know producing as fast as we can and we're getting literally shipments in every week um, so you know it's, it's going to be less than a month but you know probably two three weeks is um, you know good good answer to give uh, when you're getting customers uh, if you have any um, ideas for um, masters you know best way to do it is go to VR Lou Instagram page and DM them and, and I know they get back to you I have a very busy schedule with production every day, but you know, within a few days, I usually will get back. So, all right. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate everybody spending morning with us. Good morning. Good morning, GPS. Hey, um, hopefully I, I tried to get to as many questions <laughs> as I can today. So hopefully everybody will have a great day. Hey, today's the last day of the month. Um, whatever influencer level you want to finish at this month, remember, your results are not dependent on, it's not, it's, it, it shouldn't be determined by anybody else. It's up to you. You decide how you want to finish June. You decide what you want to get done in June. And I believe every single one of you, if you're not Influencer 100 yet, you could decide right now and become Influencer 100 before tonight's over. It's just one customer on the left, one customer on the right. If you're already Influencer 100, finish at Influencer 250. It's just five on the left, five on the right. You know, if you haven't finished your step one yet of recruiting two and two on the left and right, get it done today. Remember, today's the last day for people to have a story that I got started in GPS very first month of opening in America. And that's a story that people couldn't pay $100,000 to buy in next week, you know, um, starting tomorrow. <laughs> so anyways, God bless everybody. Have a great day. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Join us again with your business partners tomorrow. Thank you, everybody.